the state of Nevada, home to the city of Las Vegas, known for casinos, flashy hotels, and tourism. In good times, the economy can hit the jackpot. But in bad times, like when the COVID-19 pandemic struck, the glitz and glamour comes to a grinding halt. In the pandemic, Nevada had the, the distinction of being the state with the highest unemployment rate. Uh, our state unemployment rate approached 30%, and in the Las Vegas area, it approached 35%. Because of the, the downturn that we saw specifically in the casino hotel industry, where we were down probably in the neighborhood of 100,000 plus jobs. Schmidt says Nevada's accommodations industry, which includes casinos and hotels, has rebounded some, though it's still down about 30,000 jobs compared to pre-pandemic levels. That's partly why the state known for betting big is instead playing it a little safer by diversifying its economy. For years, the state has been working to attract manufacturing. It lured Tesla's Gigafactory here by offering tax incentives that could result in nearly $1.3 billion in savings over two decades. Australian gaming company Aristocrat already has around 1,000 employees in the greater Las Vegas area, based out of this office. Nearby, it's also constructing a near 25,000 square meter manufacturing integration facility, where slot machines will be assembled and shipped around the world. It has been challenging for us on the supply chain side through the ripple effects, you know, for the last 15, 18 months. But we continue to invest in our technology so that we can continue to provide product for our customers as we came out of this pandemic. We are very excited about the new Las Vegas Integration Center. Um, it will bring new technologies and new capabilities. We'll have enhanced warehousing space. We're about 10 percent above where we were prior to the pandemic in manufacturing. Not only are we growing in other industries, and diversifying, but it's also we're growing in industries that tend to pay higher wages on average. In northern Las Vegas, the company Boxable builds portable housing inside a factory. It's set to open a second factory in the coming months. We came here and it just ended up being the perfect place uh, between the, the low uh, zero uh, state income tax and the fact that the mayor in North Las Vegas has been so pro warehouse building developments and manufacturing. These buildings like we're in right now, it's a brand new building. They're building four more right behind us here and more down the street. The wages are good for the factory workers and it's definitely gonna be great for Las Vegas to be more diversified. In a state known for big wins and big losses, it's a diversification that could improve the odds of economic stability. Mark New, CGTN, Las Vegas.